Hey, welcome inside Zippity's Garage. And today's episode is gonna be a little bit different. We're doing some modifications to the C7 Corvette and I'm sitting right in front of the latest modification. First off, we add a stage two spoiler to the car. Then the creme de la creme, as far as I'm concerned with C7 Corvette exhaust systems. Let me get out of the way so the camera can pick it up. But we put on an Akropovich. Akrapovich is how you pronounce it. In my other parts of this video, you're gonna hear me bastardize the naming. But um, so in this video, we're gonna install this new exhaust system with a full X pipe, as well as a new carbon fiber and leather steering wheel and a leather covered airbag, which I don't believe has been done anywhere on YouTube yet. So stick around for more fun and games to come out of this episode of Zippity's Garage. Hey folks, like I said in that quick introduction, we're gonna take a video walkthrough on some of the modifications that we're doing to the C7. Now this is not, and I repeat, a not a step-by-step -step process on how to put on the exhaust system. If you wanna check out some videos on the how-to side of things, I highly recommend going over to check out Corvette Hop. I'll put a link to his video channel down below. Corvette Hop is a great channel uh, for a bunch of how-to stuff. So he can take you through the step-by-step -step process of removing this rear fascia. Also, 512 Garage, another great channel, and he's got how-to videos on how to install the X-Pipe itself. So the purpose of this video is basically to get some sound clips of this particular exhaust system because there's not a lot of them out there on C7s. So the Akropovich is how you pronounce this, not Akropovich. Akropovic is how I've been pronouncing it in majority of the video, but is actually pronounced Akropovich. So this exhaust system is full titanium, a lot of weight savings, additional horsepower from the catback muffler system, as well as the X-pipe that is now installed on this car. And then we also took advantage since we were taking the rear clip off, we added the stage two arrow. And then the other addition too, is we added the steering wheel. And you can see here, a little auxiliary lighting. It is a full carbon fiber steering wheel with spice red leather on the accents, as well as a spice red and black leather airbag cover. So without any further ado, let's get into the content. All right, welcome into Zippity's Garage. Thanks for watching that quick little introduction. Like I said, today we're gonna be playing on the C7 Corvette. So we've got it up on, you know, on the lift, not quite up in the air yet, but this is normally where you see the C5. And what we've got planned, I'm gonna go through. It's not really gonna be a how-to video. We're gonna set up some time lapse and you know watch us do the work. But more importantly, we've got a lot of sound clips of before and after of our exhaust system going on the car. So what we've got here is we've got the X-Pipe, which they no longer offer. So this was bought on the secondary market. But what we do have is the Acropovic exhaust system for the C7 Corvette. And the nice thing about this one is it works with the OEM valves. That was the whole reason for getting the Acropovic. So the X-Pipe and the mufflers are gonna be put on the car. And then since we've got to pull the rear clip of the vehicle off, I'm gonna go ahead and replace it, the spoiler. So we're gonna go with a stage two rear spoiler on the car. And then, oh, by the way, also got a steering wheel as well as an airbag cover. So all of this is gonna get put on the car here in the coming days. And you can see I got a couple fans set up in the garage. And the reason being is, check out that temperature. We are cresting 100 degrees today. So nothing like waiting for a heat wave to start this work. So got my buddy Ron here who's helping out. My neighbor Jim over here. So not quite like neighbor Rich from Street Speed, but neighbor Jim is here. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing up in the air and get to work.
so you can see we've got the rear clip off the car um, through the time lapse video. You can see how it came apart. Um, well, this is off. Before we take the car up in the air, we're going to do the spoiler real quick. And that's over here. And you've got 10 of these little 10 millimeter screws that are holding the uh, spoiler on. And then from the factory, it also is double face tape down on there. So you can see where the screws come, you know, there's the screws where we pulled the bolts from. So now we're going to get a heat gun. We'll heat that up a little bit and release that adhesive for the double face tape before we put the um, stage two spoiler on there. But stick around. Okay, the exhaust is off, come underneath the car. See everything is removed. Go back this way. The exhaust is off. X pipe is removed. Pretty cool. Found this underneath here. My neighbor showed me. It's like somebody, you know, the build team actually signed the vehicle. So take a picture of that. And, um, David, Mike C, Team PDI. So pretty cool. Uh, and then out here, just the obligatory side-by-side. -side. You got your OEM on the left, your aftermarket there on the right. And this is, you know, what we're, we're removing, you know, we're getting rid of that secondary catalytic converter. Um, and then out here, got the mufflers kind of side-by-side -side so you can see what they look like. Again, you've got the size of the OEM versus the size of the aftermarket. You see it's considerably smaller, not to mention considerably lighter as well. So we're gonna go ahead and move over uh, the controls um, over to here and uh, then get this sucker bolted back up. So it's a little darker out now, but we got the exhaust all buttoned up before we put the rear clip on. I'm gonna go ahead and give it its first start and I've got it on video here. So let's get inside. Awesome. <laughs> Hopefully that comes through on camera. Uh, I'll continue to I'll do a de uh, decibel reading here uh, tomorrow morning once we get some daylight out here. But my goodness, that thing sounds great. All right, we're still out in the garage. Um, let's see. It's still about 100 degrees. You can see it's still nice and warm out here, but we got the fans. The sun has gone down, so it's a little bit cooler, but still nice and humid. So where we're at right now, and I got some auxiliary lighting here with a flashlight. So we've got the exhaust on, um, lined it up, did a cold start already, uh, which I'll put in the, in the video here. But then we're also working on, we did put the spoiler on. We kind of made it work as far as uh, you know, not having to wait a day or two to finish that up. So we'll get this installed on the car. And then while I was doing that, Ron was busy with the airbag and the uh, steering wheel. 
And again, some auxiliary lighting. There's the new steering wheel with the spice red leather, uh, perforated leather, carbon fiber center bezel, uh, flat bottom, and then eventually we're going to do a spice red shift boot and shifter. All right, so with the airbags, I think we've got a first time uh, thing here for YouTube because I haven't seen this done anywhere else. Um, we've got the, this is the OEM airbag that came out of the car. Um, and you can see the connections on the back. I went ahead and ordered a brand new OEM airbag because the vendor where I purchased the new cover from didn't have a core or a core exchange. And it was my daily driver, so I couldn't send this in. So I ordered a brand new airbag and this is the airbag that was sent out to me um, with the new cover. But you can see the backs are different. You've got, you know, purple and call that like a pink versus a yellow and a green on the replacement. So what we're going to do is we're actually taking the airbag apart. So you've got four nuts right here. What are we, eight millimeters? Yes. So we got four eight mils right here. And we back those off. And this whole contraption comes off. You can see here and then what we're doing is very carefully just peeling back this rubber and we're pulling back the airbag so we're going to flip flop the two different pieces to make this cover go on to this uh setup so we're continuing to work so we're continuing to work on the airbags here but you can see we took the orange and pink contacts are now on the new airbag cover. So this is what the airbag looks like exposed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that and put it back into this OEM one. And this is gonna be sent back to the vendor as a core exchange. So, um, you know, just tightening down those eight mils, uh, make a couple connections right here, and then goes right back into, into the car. And I'm looking for my flashlight, too many tools laying around. So you can see he's taking it, tighten those eight mils back up. There's one connection for the airbag here. And then the two, the pink and the purples, connect into what you see here in the, in the, uh, in the steering wheel. So you got your pink and purple there. Don't want to mess around with too many connections and so forth. So um, it's coming along. As you can tell, it is now daylight. So we are now uh, finished up with the full installation. Everything is put back together. The steering wheel, the airbag. Um, the uh, exhaust system, the rear clip is now back on the car with the stage two spoiler on the car. So been out driving it a little bit and I am absolutely in love with this exhaust note. So going to walk around the car a little bit with you, then I'll get inside, start it up, let it sit here and idle in the driveway for you. And as you probably realize, as I you know was going through the earlier parts of the video, uh, I was completely bastardizing the name of, uh, calling it Akropovic and realize that it's Akropovic, Akropovic as far as uh, the pronunciation goes. But you can see the shadow gray really looks good in the bright sunshine. Uh, I'm trying to capture that here for you. But you can see the stage two spoiler. Got it wiped down after we, uh, you know, had fingerprints all over it, but went on without too much issue. We had that one stud that was uh, kind of giving us a hard time, but we went ahead and removed that stud and actually, you know, reinforced it down with some additional automotive uh, double face tape. But you can see the exhaust tips on here um, still look good after running them most of the day today. Was out doing, you know, the, the videos as far as the exhaust clips go, the sounding sound clips go. So you can see they still look nice and clean. Now, granted, these were ceramic coated with Gion. Thanks to the folks over at Autobella for taking care of that. And then go inside, take a closer look at the steering wheel that that is now installed. Uh, looks kind of tough inside the uh, shade here, but I'm um, loving it. Everything works. All the buttons are correct. Airbag looks great. I love the fact that this is now leather and two-tone. Really, really looks good. So let me get inside, fire this sucker up and then you can listen to the idle. That sounds really good. So I still have it in sport mode. That's generally how I drive the vehicle. Sounds a little bit more aggressive that way. Let me come back outside here. Just listen to the idle. Right 
texture to it, so hopefully this comes through. And I'm gonna leave it here for a second. Let's uh, see if I can't set this thing up on a tripod. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in touring. So hopefully that came through for you. You can certainly hear it, you know, in person, the difference in the exhaust note going from sport to touring. I'll drop it back into sport here real quick. best way that I can explain it it's very uh, it has a really nice deep gurgle to it as far as the exhaust note goes and Ron and Jim the guys helping me put it on the way they first thing Ron said he goes man that thing sounds gnarly and I think that's a great explanation on how this thing sounds the titanium is obviously a lot of weight savings but I think that gives it a different note as well completely different exhaust note i'm absolutely in love with it and uh if you've been on the fence with it hopefully this video helps you out as far as what the car sounds like with the x-pipe running it through the different exhaust modes that's the nice thing about this exhaust is it works with the factory valved exhaust system so that's going to kind of wrap it up today for me hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh more fun and games now that we have this exhaust on the car. More to come from Zippity's Garage as we head out to Corvettes at Carlisle in another two weeks.
So hopefully you enjoyed those exhaust drive-by sound clips. What I'm gonna do now is I'm actually inside the car and for the first time, I'm gonna take you guys along with me. We're gonna do a uh, fourth gear pull, uh, pull all the way up the fourth gear on a highway entrance with the new exhaust. I've got it in sport mode. That's pretty much how I drive it for the most part. So that's the sound I'm gonna hear. I want to bring it to you guys from inside the cabin just so you know you know and i'll let you know if i pick up any drone and so forth but um the new steering wheel is on you can see that here i'll sh throw a uh photograph of it but i'm really happy with it the rev match pedals work everything in here works um as designed and then for those with the spoiler hopefully it comes through on camera you can see what it looks like in the rear view mirror with the stage two arrow set up there so with that said let's start cruising here and we'll work our way on to the interstate so give me a second here let some traffic clear and i'm really not going to talk during the pull because you don't want to listen to me Entrance ramp, third gear. Good news is, not a lot of traffic in front of me, at least not yet. goes nothing. Nice pull all the way up to seventh gear. Now we're at seventh gear, 1800 RPMs inside the car. No drone. Sounds good. I got the decibel meter on. I'm going to spin around to that. 86. And we're doing just slightly over the speed limit in seventh gear at about 1600 RPMs. Let's bring this down to fifth gear. You can hear where we're at on fifth gear on the highway. Same speed, you can see the sound decibels. And I'm thrilled to say, absolutely no drone, no interior rumble at all. You can hear it, you can hear the exhaust, but nothing, nothing detrimental. I am more than thrilled with this exhaust system on, I guess, day two of after installation, but uh, I absolutely love it so far. And if you've been on the fence about this system, because like I said, there's not a lot of them out there on Corvettes. Uh, ask any questions you might have of me in the comments section below or shoot me a message through Instagram. All right, here comes a bonus pull onto the interstate. So let's see what we can do here. third gear and we caught traffic <laughs> not a bad deal uh, I really like the sound of this exhaust not too overpowering inside the car Sounds really good. Hope you're enjoying it. 